Right, let's take a look at one of our first superfoods, chlorophyll. And the reason that we're looking at chlorophyll first is because in fact, a lot of the other foods that we classify as superfoods get their benefits in part because they are rich in chlorophyll. So chlorophyll from a plant perspective is, is a green pigment that traps light in order to produce ATP. So you might remember, you know, back from your, your school days or maybe later learning about the whole concept of photosynthesis. And that's for the plant where chlorophyll comes in. For us, I guess, the thing with chlorophyll is that it has numerous health benefits, which of course we're going to take a look at. Let's first just briefly look at the energetics of chlorophyll. And, you know, as a reminder, you know, from an energetics perspective, of course, what we're after is balance. And we want to balance between, between foods that are cooling and foods that are heating. We want to balance between foods that are dry and foods that are moist. And when we do that, that helps to contribute towards balance in our entire constitution. So from an energetics perspective, chlorophyll is regarded as cooling. And where we might consider that for a client is a client that is presenting with that yang ex excess, sorry. So kind of signs of too much heat in the body. So anywhere where there's a kind of inflammation and itis at the end of the word, so cystitis, sinusitis, person might appear very red complexion, they might have that very hot look about them or hot burning complaints. That's where we're sort of going, well, would be great to bring in some more cooling foods. And that's where things like chlorophyll come in. So when we look at chlorophyll, it is, as I've said, a green pigment. It's what gives plants their green color. And I guess based on that, in theory, we would say, well, the more green the plant or the more green the vegetable or, or fruit, then the greater the chlorophyll content. And to a large extent, that would be true. Um, chlorophyll, there are different sort of varieties, I guess, of chlorophyll. There's two key chlorophyll types, chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Chlorophyll A is more a green blue color while chlorophyll B is more a green yellow color. And, and generally a plant will contain a mixture, but I'm simply highlighting that to say that sometimes that will alter the, the intensity of the green. So it doesn't necessarily mean that there is more or less chlorophyll in there. Of course, the other thing to consider is that, that there are other pigments in plants and they often have health benefits like chlorophyll and that might to some extent alter the colour. Having said that, chlorophyll tends to become the predominant pigment. So for example, you know, we look at our dark leafy green vegetables and you would look and go, well, clearly they've got chlorophyll in them. But what's not so apparent is that they're also very rich in carotenoids, which are the yellowy orange pigments. But the green pigment conceals that. So kind of bear that in mind as well when you're looking, I guess when you're using food colors to guide your food choice. So chlorophyll, really look to your leafy greens, your spinach, your rocket, also parsley, things along those lines. Fantastic source of chlorophyll. And the basic structure of chlorophyll, which is really interesting, is extremely similar to haemoglobin in the body, in, in the red blood cells. So it has that porphyrin ring, but the key difference is that in haemoglobin, the central atom is iron, whereas in chlorophyll it's magnesium. So already we can look and go, well, obviously chlorophyll is magnesium rich. It's also a great source of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin K, a range of other minerals, including calcium. And chlorophyll has important phytochemicals. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future content. To learn more about CNM or its courses, head to www.naturopathy-uk.com.